Welcome back everyone. This is uh, Computer Science uh, IGCSE 0478 or the O level uh, 2210. Uh, in this series of videos, I'm going to introduce the pre release material pseudocode solution uh, for task one uh, for the coming session, May June 21, paper 2, variant 1. Uh, before we start, I would like just to uh, give a brief introduction about what is the pre-release material. Uh, a pre-release material here is uh, a paper or uh, contains three tasks that you need to go through with your teacher or to practice uh, with before the exam. Uh, in the exam itself, you are going through paper two uh, problem solving. You uh, are going to have some questions asking about how you did specific task in the uh, pre-release material. So imagine this is as just something that you prepare uh, before the exam and in the exam you receive some questions regarding the tasks you have uh, done. Okay, so here uh, the situation is that we have uh, an election and you have uh, uh, groups uh, of students for each year here from 7 to 11 okay and the group uh, ranges between 28 to 35 students uh, they are elected they are uh, allowed to elect uh, uh, some students from their group okay uh, your program in general here your pseudocode must follow these three requirements these are three requirements that if you missed one of these while you are uh, writing down your pseudocode, definitely you will lose some marks. Okay, so the first thing here, write and test the program or programs for the voting system. Okay, the first uh, important point, your program or programs must include appropriate prompts. A prompt here is, for example, you need the uh, user to input um, his name, for example, his group. Okay, you must show a message or prompt the user. Okay, to allow him to enter the data okay so for example please input your name this is a prompt please input your uh, class please input your group uh, please input your uh, uh, your vote and so on data must be validated on entry validated means here the data should be uh, if, if the data is valid so it should be accepted if invalid it should be rejected uh, and uh, you should show a message that the data is invalid. So for example, if it's uh, allowed here to input the number of students in the class, which ranges between 28 and 35, okay, if uh, the question is asking you to input the student number, and then you input a range out of, uh, you input a value out of this range, 28 to 35, for example, 36, this is invalid. So you must validate the data. On input you must have a structure here to validate the data let's say for example if condition okay if condition that the data is invalid so it must show an error message which is the point number two here error messages and other output need to be set out clearly and, and understandably okay all variables constants and other identifiers must have a meaningful name this is very important for the examiner because let's say, for example, if you declared a, va a variable or a constant, and I'm sure that you are uh, able to, uh, or you are uh, able to uh, define a variable. Okay, so when you define a variable, it should be meaningful. Do not declare a variable as X, Y, whatever uh, letters that uh, are non meaningful. Okay. Uh, you will need to complete these three tasks. Each task must be fully tested. And we'll start with the first task here, which is task one. Task one is setting up the voting system, which is the uh, beginning of the system, which this part we are going to talk about uh, how to set up the system on the next video.